You know, I like to say the case teaches itself in the sense that uh, everyone in the room, when I teach the case, is familiar with the company and students and uh, the instructors can share their opinions in terms of what the company has done and where it's going. One of the uh, elements of the case that uh, really makes it a powerful teaching tool uh, is the analysis that you can do in terms of the alignment between Apple's corporate strategy and its supply chain strategy. And you know, when I teach this course in my MBA elective, I back it up uh, with the second case on Walmart. That really provides a powerful example in terms of how two very successful companies and leaders in terms of the way that they operate their supply chains can have different supply chain strategies, but of paid particular attention to the alignment between their supply chain capabilities and their organizational strategy. And it provides a very important learning point for the student to understand how companies need to maintain the alignment of capabilities with overall strategy in the way that they configure their supply chain operations. One of the things that this case uh, demonstrates is the complexity of managing a global supply chain with suppliers across six continents, with literally a thousand, more than a thousand components that go into an iPhone uh, in a relatively short product life cycle. And the capabilities that uh, Apple has developed uh, over the last uh, 14 or 15 years in terms of being able to uh, develop, source, launch uh, and manufacture new product uh, on a continual basis and introduce these products uh, over a 12-month cycle. That's a much different capability that uh, we see in different organizations which have more stable products and services uh, and the capabilities required to be able to support it. I think instructors uh, can become very comfortable with their materials. And uh, over a period of years, uh, you adopt certain cases that work well in your courses. And it's easy as you refine the delivery mechanisms that you use in class to uh, repeating the same cases on a year-over-year -year basis. Uh, I just found that uh, uh, a lot of change with Apple from my original case that I wrote in 2014. And after six or seven years, it was really time to bring in new material, uh, update the company's current strategy. For example, it has a greater emphasis on services today. Uh, and the changes that it's made in its supply chain as the uh, iPhone has gone through its product life cycle. So I would really encourage uh, instructors in particular to think about the material that they're using in terms of updating their material and in terms of opportunities for case writing, uh, to be able to bring in uh, new material uh, and update uh, perhaps their old cases uh, based on changes that have happened in the organization and the industry. When I start the class, I ask for a vote. And the vote is not about options or alternatives. It is about uh, who uses an Apple product. And it's usually about 50-50. Uh, so we've got the people in class that I refer to as the Apple enthusiasts. These are people that have an iPhone, they've got a Mac, uh, they maybe have an iPad and other Apple products. Then you've got the other people in class and these are people that made a distinct decision about why they want to use an Apple product and what the potential advantages are of other brands and technologies and decided not to use Apple. And that creates for a really healthy debate because you get people in class that every year uh, in September uh, wait in line to get a new iPhone. Uh, they've got to have the latest technology, uh, the latest features. But then you've got other people in class that talk about the advantages of using uh, other products and services. So it really creates a bit of a debate, but it more importantly helps to flush out uh, what the strategy is of Apple uh, and how its supply chain capabilities uh, are developed or have been developed over the years to reinforce that.
I'm a person that uh, subscribes to the teacher scholar model. Uh, so I uh, have an active research agenda. I published uh, a number of articles in academic journals. But teaching is incredibly important to me uh, in terms of my role here at Ivy. And one of the things that is part of that portfolio uh, is development of teaching materials. And, you know, time is a, a limited resource for everyone, uh, regardless of what you do for a living. Uh, so you don't have unlimited capacity in terms of an ability to be able to write cases. My general rule is that I tend to write anywhere from one to three cases a year. And it depends on the opportunities and the other things that I've got going on in my life, but generally an average of about two cases a year is my objective. And you know, my, my most important criterion in terms of writing a case is to address a specific need in one of my courses. So with all the opportunities that uh, come to me over the course of a year in terms of people that are interested in writing cases or companies that I talk to, uh, I tend to identify where the gaps are in my uh, courses and my syllabus and identify specific needs in terms of my case writing because if I'm going to write a case, uh, my number one uh, issue is to make sure that it's uh, going to be used and I've got a need for it. 